What's up guys? Today we're gonna go work on the custom door panels for Laboomin, so let's do it. All right, so you should have already made the mold. This is the second video. So the mold's dried and you're gonna be using a Sharpie again to follow that same black line that you did in the previous step. And what you're doing here is you're just giving yourself that cut line so that you know when you take it off, which is the next step, you know where to cut it. Um, we're gonna be using a grinder, but I actually forgot to film it, so we're just gonna skip into the sanding part but this next step after you do the outlining is literally the most important step i've wasted so many days and so many hours fucking this step up so you can see me here going really slow and i'm slowly going down the side and lifting up the mold so the mold it's pretty sturdy but you have to be very careful because one wrong move or too much pressure and you'll crack it. And if you crack it, you might be able to save it, but at the end of the day, you're gonna have structural damage because this is the foundation of the entire mold, so just start over. So this part, you wanna take as much time on this part as possible because you do not wanna mess this up. I cannot stress that enough. So once you get a corner pulled up a little bit, you'll be able to slowly start taking the entire thing off from that corner. But one of the tips that I can give you guys is that when you start lifting up a corner, when you pull it, you don't want to pull it out towards you. You want to pull it kind of at like a 45 degree angle. And if you pull it more towards you just straight back like perpendicular 90 degrees you're putting more pressure where that whole thing will just snap off um, so you kind of want to like pull it out and up until you can fit a little bit of fingers inside maybe you can get like a little uh, dowel or a sharpie or something just kind of like hold it and then you just kind of work it all the way down um, I kind of skipped a lot of steps but this took me about 30 minutes so don't uh, don't think that you're going to be able to just do this real, real quick. Hopefully you will. Uh, maybe you guys can leave some comments about what you did. Made it a lot easier. I don't know. Maybe you can use a heat gun to uh, loosen up the stickiness of the tape. But yeah, leave it in the comments what you guys did. You still have to be very careful even though you're thinking the coast is clear, just take your time. That's all I can say is take your time. And then finally, huh, such satisfaction. Get it off. Now here you wanna remove everything from the back. So any extra tape that didn't stay on the actual panel, try to just get as much as you possibly can off. That little speaker thing, take that off whatever is there just try to remove as much as you possibly can and then the next step would be grinding the edges which I forgot to film on this one part but you want to follow that line that sharpie that you drew and cut the edges and then take this that 80 grit sandpaper put it on the actual panel itself and sand the edges down so it's actually flush against the panel so literally you're mimicking the exact size of the panel then we jump into the framing now this can get a little bit tricky but it's pretty straightforward so you get a good idea of how you want the speaker panel to look like and you mark it right here with your finger and then take a knife any kind of knife and just notch a little cut into it hold it with one finger and just spin the dowel and what's gonna happen is that it's gonna create a little indent so that when you push it with your fingers, it'll just snap. 
very easily. You don't need a saw, you don't need to have all this machinery or a power saw or table saw. You can literally just have a knife in your hands on the sidewalk, which is what I was doing. So you get the angle of how you want it, and then with one hand you hold the angle of the speaker mold, and then the other you take the hot glue gun and you just hot glue the shit out of everything. And you'll see this right here, I'm just kind of like designing it. And every time I get a piece, I'll take the dowel, mark it with my finger, notch it with the knife, snap it, hit it with the hot glue, boom. You just keep doing this until the whole speaker is framed out and it's the design that you want. And because it's hot glue, you can always just snap it off and try it again if something doesn't work. So this is all just trial and error. I think the most important part of this entire thing is already knowing how big your car is and what amps you can fit inside to power what speakers. Because then that leads you to know that you have eight speakers or 12 speakers at this ohm with this watts. Like, if you're just randomly gonna be getting speaker molds to put something together, you are already losing. I'll be making a video of how to actually figure out what speakers you need and the best way to do it on the channel. So make sure you check that out if you're confused about what speakers and what sizes and how large and how loud and all that. Check out the video. So this car is extremely custom because I removed the back seat and there is a platform on the bottom. So I'm trying to figure out how I can wrap the frame of the speaker panel around this platform so that I can still open it and access the batteries that are in the back. So while I'm DJing in the back, I'm actually standing on the battery packs and the frame of this speaker panel needs to go around that lid in order for me to still be able to open up the, the battery pack. So I'll get a better angle right here. So this angle is a little bit better, even though the camera's on my head, so it's a little bit wonky. You can see I'm making the marks with my finger and just cutting it with the knife and just popping it and gluing it very very quick do not overthink it this all looks like shit right now but that's all it needs for the foundation you're just building the structure and we're going to solidify the structure later so the way that it looks does not matter so i'm just making sure that each part is supported and there's not gonna be a single part of the panel that will buckle or snap or break after it's all said and done. So I'm adding as much support as I possibly can, especially at this one point, because this is where people are getting in and out, and this is where the lid flips up back and forth. So this part's very, very crucial. This typically won't be the case when you guys are doing it, because you probably aren't making a DJ car so it'll be very straightforward. You won't need to do any kind of trusses or any supporting beams or anything like that. This is just for those people who really want to go out of the way to do something really crazy. You can see what I'm doing here. I'm taking each of the edges and I'm shaving them down to an angle so that they fit more flush against each of the sides that I'm putting on the post. So instead of cut cutting it straight, I'm cutting it at an angle so that when I lay it down, it's not awkward.
So really guys, take your time when doing this because this is gonna be the structure that's gonna hold your whole thing together. Uh, and then we're gonna wrap it and paint it with fiberglass and resin in, in part three. I would say that it's just like painting a car. The longest part is the prep time. And then painting it takes real quick. <laughs>